It's like it won't hit anything. Nice. So here's what we're gonna do. We're gonna do a 90. Practice a 90. Okay. Look at all this room, everybody. How nice. Lots of room. And our trailer, our trailer is in need of an inspection. How far back these are? So, leave it here. Yeah, but the yellow lines are not stepped, are they? Oh yeah, they are. Up to here, but not over there. They're still stepped in terms of how they're parked. Yeah, exactly. Mm, interesting. Okay, Kevin's gonna do a 90. Let's see. Can you talk us through it, please? First, you need your tandems on your trailer slid forward, and then you line up those tires two spaces past the one you wanna go into. You wanna be just out far enough that when you jackknife the tractor you're not going to hit a vehicle here like see the yellow line is here so you're going to be like 12 feet away from any trucks that are here beside you okay and then what you got to do is crank the wheel all the way to the right and then back it up slowly to the point where you are at a 90 degree angle to your trailer and the way you know that you see on this Warner trailer in front of us that that, that stripe the black stripe? The stripe above the, yeah. Above you watch for that in this mirror, and if that disappears, you've gone too far, and you're about to damage your sleeper. Okay. I think I should have been farther forward. Yeah, I'm going to hit that little sign there. <laughs> With so this, much room I available. Against, I was up against that trailer there. <laughs> See the strike though. That's oh, the thing. but you hit. How? That's awesome. I don't know. Hmm. Yeah, all this room. <laughs> don't hit the sign. Now, turn your wheels the other way. Uh huh? So you get in front of your trailer and lock it into the space. Okay, if any of you watching this video have some input, feel free to put the comments below, but be nice. Kevin did say he's practicing. This is a good opportunity to practice. Because the only way to get better at it is to practice. He stayed cool, calm, and collected. And followed what he was taught. So that's very bizarre. The blue tag usually just indicates that the trailer is due for its regular inspection, but in this case, we were able to write a note on there as well. The stripe on the trailer side below the Werner logo is two feet too far back. So let me show you what I mean by that. Look at these two trailers. See where that little vertical line is, the white and black stripe? See where it is located on that panel? Now look at where it was on our trailer. 
too far back. You see you have two whole panels before they put that stripe. So somebody put it on incorrectly. They had been taught uh, at the Werner orientation to use that stripe to do their 90 so that the cab would not hit the trailer. But sadly, look what happened to Kenny Riggs. Yeah, it collided with the trailer. So, please, when you use that method for the Werner trailers, be sure to look and uh, make sure that that stripe is in the right location before you use it to try and make your 90 degree turn. Anyway, we hope this uh, helped. <laughs> maybe you learned something, maybe you were entertained, and maybe you got to see how to keep a cool head when things don't go quite right. All right, with that, give it a thumbs up and you can put your comments and questions below. Hit that subscribe button and also the notification bell if you wanna keep coming along on the roads of America and learning about trucking with us. Thanks for joining the joy of trucking today. Have a great day. With love, from Kevin and Tanya. Bye.